why isn't my inhaler working? So you're having wheezing and shortness of breath, but your inhaler and home nebulizer don't seem to be working. Maybe they're even making it worse. Well, if you have COPD and heart failure together, it could be that your inhaler really is making it worse. Let's talk about it. Hello, welcome to Cardium. I'm Jason Moran and today we're talking about bronchospasm. Today's topic is going to be a little more complex as we dive deeper into the inner workings of the lungs. But like I always try to do, I'm going to break it down, making it very easy to understand. If you haven't already seen our video, What is COPD? and our video, What is Heart Failure? You probably want to go back and watch them first to get a better understanding of each. With a solid understanding of each condition, you'll be able to better understand how the two conditions together compound your problem. If you recall from our video, what is COPD, much of the problem is the constriction or swelling of the airway passages called the bronchioles. This is called bronchoconstriction. Bronco, meaning the bronchioles, and constriction, you get the idea. As these airways constrict, it causes a reduction in airflow, making it difficult for you to breathe. This constriction also causes that musical wheezing sound that we associate with asthma. Now, if you remember from our video, what is heart failure, we become short of breath due to fluid backup from the heart that eventually leads to the lungs. This is called pulmonary congestion. Pulmonary, meaning the lungs. Congestion, meaning the block or fill. Okay, so on one side we have an airway problem, bronchoconstriction, called COPD, that we would normally treat with inhalers and nebulizers. On the other hand, we have a heart failure problem that causes a backup of fluid into the lungs called pulmonary congestion that we would normally treat with a water pill or a diuretic. So, why are you having wheezing like COPD, but your inhaler isn't working? If you have both COPD and heart failure, then the problem is most likely a compound one. The inhaler you're using may be good for the COPD, but the way it works is actually counterproductive to the heart failure. I'll explain. So here we have our lungs, and we see the constriction of the bronchioles that causes the shortness of breath and wheezing. We also see that down here in the base of the lungs, we have fluid backup or pulmonary congestion that causes shortness of breath, making things even worse. Now when you use an inhaler, it has two separate properties that make it work. The first is called beta-1. The name's not important, just understand that it's two parts. The first part increases heart rate and blood pressure. The second part, or beta-2, opens the bronchioles and reduces the constriction. Basically, the inhaler is activating the fight or flight mechanism of the body and stimulating everything to make you function better and faster. But there's a problem here. You see, it's that first part, the beta-1, that's making things worse for you. As heart rate and blood pressure increase, it's further compounding the issue of the heart failure. Remember that with heart failure, the heart is unable to efficiently pump blood out of the body. Blood from the heart is properly ejected out to the arteries and instead backs up into the lungs. This weakened, inefficient heart is now having to fight against the increasing heart rate and blood pressure caused by that beta-1 property of the inhaler that you're using for your COPD. It's a catch-22. So you use the inhaler to open the airways, but then fill them with fluid from the backed up heart. In many situations, CPAP is the best answer. And many of you probably have a CPAP machine at home already. For others, it may mean taking additional water pills or diuretics. But be sure to speak to your doctor first to know if this is right for you. And if the shortness of breath is getting bad enough, then you'll need to get to a hospital for treatment right away. Well, that's it for this video here at Cardio. If you found this helpful, be sure to like us, leave us a comment below. Also, hit that subscribe button below for more great information. If you have any questions or want to see anything in future videos, let me know and I'll be happy to address it. Until next time, y'all take care of each other.